Hello traders, today we will talk about two stocks. One is tech that is up by almost 15% and the second is fruit which is up for 4% within this day. So both of them meron ako and today we will discuss if it is okay for you to buy pwede pa bang humabol kay tech or kay frutas or it is time for you to sell or to take profit or it is worth to hold pa ba? what are the compelling factors that pushing the stock both tech and frutas up and if there is any other reason that can make this two stock go up even more higher so if you are new to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell button so you will always get the latest content that i make for you to be equipped with the latest market happening so today we will talk about tech first okay so let's check the chart for tech so last video or the second video that i discussed about tech is that sa tingin ko nung friday it will move sideways like this siguro ma ilang candle right na magperform ng uptrend motion before it will finally break out the 10.1 level but sa ngayon napaaga ang break out because bago mag alam ko nung mga tanghali or hapon na ito nag break out so I already bought at the breakout of 10.1 so mga 10.2 ko siya na, na bili so if you are not following this video so I bought first somewhere here tapos nagbenta ako because of the breakdown in 9 pesos level per share right then nag breakout dito nag entry tayo dito so what are the factors that we will look for now is that if this support minor support 10.8 will hold so ang pinaka strategy dyan if you bought it on the breakout itself check nyo tomorrow if it will open gap up and finally break out the 11.4 level pes pesos level so if it breaks out and it holds diba maganda if it opens below 11.4 tapos nag hold itong 10.8 okay lang din to hold but if it fails to hold so you have to take profit na again this is for a professional momentum trader or scalper lang hindi ito pwede sa mga newbie because uh, trading tech is a highly volatile stock so malikot masyado ang stock and as you can see medyo walang volume diba humina ang volume so again tomorrow trading plan mas maganda if it will open above from today's closing price which is uh, 11.08 mas maganda kung bu bukas mag gap up or mag open higher than 11.8 or kung kayang ma-break ang resistance na 11.4 and it will hold there but kung hindi naman watch out for the 10.8 kung mag-break ito take profit na di ba pero kung nakalimutan mong magano mag-take profit nakatulog ka eh well the next support that you will look or the next support you will have to consider is the 10.10 .10 or 10.1 support level so what if it breaks the uh, 11.4 it might challenge the 12 pesos level and the 12.8 level right here so yan yung mga babantayan mo diba for tomorrow to see if the stocks has the strength pa rin to push even more higher so the question now that I am getting is is it worth it to buy pa ba well it is more riskier diba so if you want to buy 
or to challenge your risk appetite, di ba? Or if you want to make a quick trade, di ba? Pwedeng pag nag-gap up siya, buy on gap up, sell on strength, di ba? Kasi yung pagbili mo, you are buying at the high na eh. So, again, huwag ka mag-go all in. So, kung may portfolio ka na like 1 million, kahit siguro 10% lang yung i-trade mo doon. Huwag lahat. Kasi, this is a very risky trade na. Kasi, sooner or later, it will correct. At kung magko-correct man yan, napakalalim yan. Kasi, there are several support, di ba? Na aantayin mong kailangan mag-hold, di ba? So, for example, tomorrow, nag, nag-open, gap up, nagsimula dito, di ba? Tapos, umangat. So, nag-break out ng 11.1, di ba? Then, 11.8. So, medyo malalim kapag uh, hindi ka nakapag-cut loss, di ba? O kaya, nag, nag-gap up, di ba? Nag-open, tapos nakabili ka somewhere here, nag-break down ng 11.4 then 11 ng ng 10.8 so medyo malalim siya so if you want to trade trade in a small amount kasi this is the late phase na ng trading no so everyone will tend to take profit so again kung meron ka nito first thing uh, if it opens gap up hold sell on strength If it opens lower than yesterday's closing, pwede ka na mag-sell or if you want to hold, okay lang as as long as this 10.83 holds. If it fails, pwede ka na mag-sell. Kasi dito ako nagbumili eh, 10.2 eh. So, may profit na yan, pero maliit lang. So, gap up, di ba? Uh, if you want to buy, Diba? Check nyo kung if you are buying near on the resistance Ay, sorry, near on the support Pag near on the support, okay lang Set your target prices, set your expectation Again, this is not for newbies So, highly volatile stocks ito So, yan So, next thing na pag-uusapan natin is fruit So, in, in fruit First thing, let's get down into the business. So, nung January 8, Fruit announces that Fruit Frutas acquires its truck grill. So, isa siyang food park or food court na kiosk, di ba? So, it may operate in the future daw. So, they want to replicate the success of the past acquisition ng Sabroso Lechon and the Jamaican Patel. Uh, shop and use bar so what is good for this type of business yung mga pagkain is they can replicate the success from one area to another so parang McDonald's di ba? if they are successful in other country they can replicate it into another country then another thing that Frutas also purchased approximately of 240 square meter in Davao City sa Sasa which will be used as office and warehouse space for faster growth in Mindanao. Also, Frutas also uh, nahit niya last year ang 1,000 stores. So, uh, let's get down into the technicals kasi more on technicals trading ako. So, as you can see, gaya ng na-discuss ko nung second video ko about tech and Frutas, I already entered here pagka-breakout dito sa pennant pattern or flag so gaya ng sinabi ko dun sa video na yun, it will show some resistance at 1.69 or 1.7 because it is the IPO price and kagaya ng itong ginawa ko Fibonacci retracement uh, it hit 1.75 but failed to break out so tomorrow's trading plan uh, you should watch out kung it will hopefully Uh, break this 1.75 level or it will retrace up to 1.58 no? so I forgot kung 1.52 ko siya nabili basta around this breakout mismo dito so if you are making a quick trade tapos nabili mo siya ng mababa so 
breakdown from the 1.58 support level you may already take profit but for me i am looking for a position trade because frutas is is having a growth plans for this year diba so ang magiging trail stop ko is the ma9 so may magtatanong if where should i buy or the good price that should i buy so watch out the ma9 kung the price goes closer diba sa support niya na ma9 you can buy diba tapos yung ma9 ang magiging trail stop mo because if you will observe this is a classic uptrend right forming a higher low and higher high diba having some base diba so ito nagkaroon ng box dito nag drawing tayo ng box merong high low high nag break out sa box so hindi ako bumili dito dahil pessimist pa ako nag break out nag form ng high diba yan nagpo-form ng higher lows, di ba? Paunti-unti tapos nag-breakout dito tayo pumasok. So again, this might be a bagger kung ma-fully execute or maganda ang execution ng mga plans niya sa mga acquisitions niya and mga growth plans. So for me, uh, following this trend is a much better strategy. So, buy always in the near of the MA9 support. Then, sell paunti-unti if you can see a resistance in prices na. So, that's it for now. I hope you learned something in this video and I hope you are more equipped today for tomorrow's trading plan. So, ayun. At least, you know na where to buy. Or if may hawak ka na, it is worth to hold pa ba or it is already time for you to sell so if you like this video please leave a like and comment what you want to learn and what have you learned so god bless us all and happy trading for tomorrow yeah bye bye